I just put like random books to fill the holes for you guys. <laughs> okay, so if you can't tell, I'm looking vacation-y in my floral halter. Can't, you can't. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. And today I'm going to be recommending to you guys... Wait, what am I doing today? I'm going to be recommending beach reads to you all because as I know it's the summer, it's beginning to be June and July which are the hottest months of the year except if you live in Australia, I'm sorry. So these are books that I think are good to read in the beach where you can like fry a little trying to tan in the sun and not be too bothered by how hot and sweaty you are. And I also tried to choose books that don't take place during like the school year because ain't nobody got time to think about school when you're trying to be relaxing. So first one here is truly a ridiculous book but it's very good if you are looking for something silly or maybe if you have like a younger sibling or you are a little younger or you're just me who is not super young but also just enjoys stupid books um, it's not stupid I love it that is broken hearts fences and other things to mend it's actually an entire trilogy and it takes place during the summer at the beach it's about a girl who ends up back in a place that she used to live or used to vacation a lot where there are a lot of people that bring up like unwanted memories and this is just after she's broken up with her boyfriend. I just love the way it's written just completely summary. It's just full of like things happening which I think you really want in a good beach read and they're nothing's heavy, everything's pretty easy to deal with like mentally, not a lot of commitment needed to read this one and also pretty short. Next is another book kind of like that, it has a little bit more depth to it but um, I think this author in particular is really good for summertime reads um, and I actually read it at the beach a few years ago and let me get it out. That is Keeping the Moon by Sarah Dessen. This one is a very short book, so very easy to read. It's about a girl who goes to spend a summer at a beach and she makes friends that she wasn't really expecting to make. At first she thought she was just going to have to be a loner and not really have the best time, but she kind of finds fun despite all that. And there's a guy, he's cute. It's just a really easy book to read definitely have some really good memories attached to reading this one at the beach like several years ago. Next is another book that I actually don't remember a ton about but it kind of embodies the summer mood and that is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. This one takes place in Hollywood and the main character is a set designer or something of that sort and she gets into a romantic relationship with a girl and it's really sweet and again there's a little bit more to it than like a silly book but it's definitely easy to read and really really enjoyable and just a summery feel to it. Have I been out of focus this entire time? I literally don't have my glasses on so I can't tell. <laughs> Good thing. Oh. Okay, and this one is not actually a fluffy contemporary, which I'm sure you all thought was all you were going to get from this, but it is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. Now, this book, I believe, takes place, like, during the winter, and it's pretty long, so it's if you kind of need more of a distraction, or maybe if there are rainy days while you're at the beach, um, but it's kind of a play off of Harry Potter, but definitely different. The magic system is very different, but the, like, community aspect... Um, of like the boarding school they all attend is really interesting. There's a little bit of vampires. Um, there's a cute little romance between Baz and Simon. Is that his name? Probably not. It's probably not Simon. Oh, it is! Simon Snow and Baz! It's based off of like a fan fiction in one of Rainbow Rowell's other books um, called Fangirl. You probably know that if you are around the book sphere, but if not, highly recommend this. It's just an all-around really enjoyable read that's like more of a fun fantasy and I don't want to say immature but or younger because that might turn some people off but it's not like a heavy fantasy where there are like wars you know like Sarah J Mass books or anything it's definitely way more accessible I think which makes it a better beach read along the lines of like easy to read if you want another fantasy based book I recommend the selection now you've probably read this by now but but it's just a fun dystopian that if you are in the dystopian mood is so easy to fly through there's a little bit of a romance and pretty ball gowns and it's kind of like the bachelor which is super fun gotta say I hate the messages with the bachelorette like a bunch of people competing for one person is awful but it's kind of an entertaining show 
and I kind of watch it sometimes maybe so this is good too last on the list oh wow hair flip Last on the list is another book that I read last summer, and that is Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. This is a fun, um, diverse read, and takes place over a few days. It's very short, and it's about a group of friends who go to, um, kind of like Comic-Con, but it's called Supercon. It's about, like, one girl who's a vlogger and an actress, and another girl who has anxiety, and another one of their friends, and they all come over from Australia to, um, America to enjoy this festival. It deals with serious things, but nothing that turns you off from wanting to read it because it's all interwoven into messages of happiness and like having a good time. So this is a really good vacation beachy read. So I really hope that you found a book that you maybe want to read from this lovely stack here. I genuinely think that these are good books that you can be absorbed in when you want to and also can take a break from and not worry about like missing out and you're not going to be like sobbing your eyes out on the sand or anything. These are just enjoyable reads that I've really loved and I hope that you like them too. If you are excited to see more bookish videos, I'm filming a few now and those will be up on my channel soon. Please subscribe and comment below if you have anything to say, if you liked any of these books or have any beachy recommendations for me, I'm definitely open to it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!